Okay, I want to take a look at uh, substitutions, uh, possibly sus. I think I want to substitute some chords over uh, a really cool praise song called Give Thanks. Um, real popular. And uh, so it's in the key of F. And so I want to kind of talk about the theory behind the chords of the original arrangement. And then we'll kind of substitute and have some fun, uh, some fun with it. So uh, the key of F has one flat, and that is going to be B flat. Now I've had a couple of questions in my inbox about uh, talking about the, uh, so a little bit more about the theory behind scales. So I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the circle of fifths real quick, and uh, so that one can get a grasp as to how do you know when to sharp a note, when to flat a note, or anything like that. Well, the, the circle of fifths really is a, a really good tool to kind of help you understand uh, what notes are sharp or what notes are flat. So if you would imagine in your mind a, a circle, and I might see if I can find a graphic to put up at the end or something like that, uh, or a graphic to put up in the video. Uh, if you can imagine in your mind uh, a, a, a clock uh, and a circle starting with the key of C, and when you go around clockwise, what you're doing is going up a fifth from the last key. So the key of C has no sharps or flats. So therefore it would just be C, B, E, F, G, A, B, C. You go up a fifth from C. One, two, three, four, five. That is G. G has one sharp. That sharp is going to be F. You go up and then, so when you work your way around the circle of fifths, every time you go to the next key, you add a sharp. C has zero. Go up a fifth from C. G has one sharp. Go up a fifth from G. D has two sharps, fifth up from D. A has three, fifth up from A. E has four sharps, fifth up from E. B has five sharps, fifth up from B. Its F sharp has six sharps, and a fifth up from F sharp is uh, C sharp, and it has seven. Now the question is, well, what's the order that the notes will be sharp? So you have, that's two different things. Going up a fifth, go to G, add a sharp. However, there's an order of sharps, so that means uh, when do I know or which note will be sharp first, and then what note's going to be sharp if I have two, what notes are going to be sharp, if I have three, what's going to be sharp? Well, the order that I use for my students, me being old church boy, is following Christ gives direction and eternal benefits. Following Christ gives direction and eternal benefits. So F, C, G, D, A, E, B. That's the order notes are going to be sharp. So when I go from C to the key of G. The first sharp in G is going to be F. If I go to D, I'm going to have an F and a C. If I go to the key of A, I'm going to have an F, a C, and a G. Following Christ gives. If I go to the key of E, I'm going to have four. Following Christ gives direction. So F, C, G, and D. So whenever I play an E scale and I know working over that circle of fifths over and over that I'm going to have uh, four sharps. It's going to be F, C, G, and D. So when I play the scale, I'm going to need an F sharp. I'm going to need a C sharp. I'm going to need a G sharp and a D sharp. Play the scale on E. Four sharps in the scale, okay? Uh, when I get to the key of uh, C sharp, seven sharps in the scale, so every note in the scale is going to be sharp. Following Christ gives direction and eternal benefits. So I'll need an F, a C, a G, a D, an A sharp, an E sharp, and a B sharp. So every note is sharp on this scale. Now a real quick tip for playing uh, scales that have uh, the three black, two black. Use fingers uh, two and three in the right hand on the two black. And uh, two and three in the left hand. So usually the finger is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Finger two, three on the two black. Finger two, three, four on the three black. So when I'm playing those scales, uh, only thing I'm gonna need are really these two, these three, and the thumb. So I would part, uh, the finger for C sharp would be two, three, then thumb, then two, three, four, thumb, back to two. And that'll get you through the scale without trying to use any other, you don't need the pinky at all. Same thing with the left hand, start on finger three, three, two, thumb, four over, four, three, two, thumb, three, all right? All right, so those are really 
what you can use on those scales and I'll get you navigating through the scales uh, pretty quickly all right so in the, uh, if you go counterclockwise on the on the circle of fifths instead of going clockwise adding a sharp you go counterclockwise uh, it's in fourths so a fourth up from C C one two three four is an F and you're going to add one flat and then you go up a fourth from F to B flat you'll add two flats you go up a fourth from B flat E flat has three flat flats up a fourth from E flat A flat has four a fourth up from A flat D flat has five flats fourth up from D flat G flat has six flats and a fourth up from uh, G flat is a C flat which is B but it's called C flat technically it's gonna have seven flats now the order of flats are really just the order of sharps backwards B E A D and then uh, can't think G C F B E A D G C F uh, so my phrase for that is but every action deserves godly counsel first so you get that phrase in your mind but every action uh, deserves godly counsel first that'll be your order of flats so when I go from C with no sharps or flats to the key of F F will have one flat so that'll be a B flat so F A I mean F G A B flat C D E F so the key of F has one flat So what you'll do in the left hand, you'll play from finger five, five, four, three, two, one, three over on the D, back to F. Left hand, you'll start on the thumb, one, two, three, finger four, thumb under on the C, C, D, E, F, and you'll have the pinky left over for the one octave, okay? All right, so my next step after knowing the scale and the key center, since give thanks is in F, um, we're going to start uh, listening for intervals.